Hello everyone, this is Jazz from Lightpad Dog. So today I have another sunscreen review for you. So this is Avene Clean and Tinted Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This is another sunscreen with Triazov, which is a new sunscreen filter which can protect our skin from UVA rays, UVB rays, and high energy visible light up to 450 nanometers of wavelength. So as I have mentioned in my previous videos, that high energy visible light or blue light extends from 400 nanometers to 500 nanometers of wavelength. So this sunscreen has an added benefit of iron oxides which can provide a broader protection in high energy visible light region. So let's take a quick look at the ingredients in this sunscreen. So this sunscreen has a total of four UV filters. The first one is diethyl amino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate which is uvinol A+. Second is ethyl hexyl triazone which is uvinol T150. Third is phenylene bis diphenyl triazine, which is the new sunscreen filter triazorb. And lastly, it's bis ethyl hexyl oxyphenol methoxy phenyl triazine, which is tinozorb S. This sunscreen also has a mixture of red, yellow, and black iron oxides. Since this sunscreen is meant for acne prone skin, it has some ingredients which can be beneficial for acne. The first one is glyceryl laurate, which has antimicrobial properties. And as per Avene, uh, it also has some sebum regulating properties. The second ingredient is zinc gluconate, which can be beneficial for acne and for healing of the skin. In addition, it has some starches, which can give a mattifying effect to the skin. Now, this sunscreen is not fragrance free. So if you have very sensitive skin, make sure to patch test before using. So let's now see how these UV filters and iron oxides protect our skin. First, coming on to iron oxides. So each different color of iron oxide has a different profile when it comes to protection from visible light. So yellow iron oxides can protect our skin from 400 to 500 nanometers of wavelength. Red iron oxides can protect our skin up to 580 nanometers of wavelength. And black iron oxides can protect our skin from the whole range of visible light. So having a mixture of yellow, red and black iron oxides can give us a pretty broad spectrum protection in the visible light region. Looking at the UV filters in this sunscreen, UVinol T150 can protect our skin from UVB rays. UVinol A plus can give protection from UVA1 and A2 rays. Tinosorb S, which is a broad spectrum UV filter, can protect our skin from UVA rays and UVB rays. Triazorb can protect our skin from UVA rays, UVB rays and high energy visible light up to 450 nanometers of wavelength. And you can see iron oxides here can fill that gap and give us broader protection in the visible light region. So let's now move on to the packaging and texture of this sunscreen. So this sunscreen comes in a 50 ml packaging. It has a UVA circle seal and since it's SPF 50 plus, the UVA protection factor of this sunscreen is at least 20. Let's take a look at the texture of this sunscreen. It comes out as a lotion. It's a bit thicker than Avene SPF 50 plus fluid. However, it spreads really nicely on the skin. As you rub this sunscreen into your skin, the beige color turns a little lighter in shade and it takes a while to get absorbed completely. After absorbing and drying, the color has an orange tint to it. Now the tint of this sunscreen is a little dark and too orange for my skin tone. The finish is shiny and greasy and it transfers easily to anything your skin comes in contact with. Now let me show you how it looked on my skin. With the first application, uh, you can see it looks a little bit shiny and greasy. It's a little bit too orange for my skin, uh, but otherwise it looks good. With second application of the day or reapplication, it starts looking even more shiny and greasy and it looks a lot more orange. It looked as if I had a foundation on my skin. It also kind of feels heavy with the reapplication. So most days when I was using this sunscreen, I use another transparent chemical sunscreen for reapplication. Now for removing this sunscreen, I necessarily did not need a second cleanse or a double cleanse. My usual water-based cleansers took the sunscreen off completely. To summarize, this sunscreen can be a great option for someone with normal to dry skin. However, it might not suit every skin tone. Since it's a water resistant formulation, it can also be used on a beach or when you are doing some water sports or going for a hike or run. The only issue is reapplying multiple layers 
can be really tricky with a tinted sunscreen and it can start looking thick almost like a foundation so that is all for this sunscreen if you have used this sunscreen please share your experience in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends stay connected by subscribing thanks for watching